Hey guys, we're back again with some more Golden Sun. Um, nothing much has changed, so don't worry about that. Oh god, it's this guy again. Um, I really don't like him. He makes me sad. If I had to say anything, I would murder him in his sleep. Except I'm only level 1, and he's probably a level maybe 30 enemy. I think that's what level you have to be by the end of the game. Um, but he makes me mad. I'm sorry, guys. He's just... Ugh. And his little girlfriend, uh, she is, she's even worse probably. But, oh, come on, we're not eavesdropping for the last time. This happened three years ago. Oh my god. No, I was reading your text, not eavesdropping. Oh my god, these people, Jesus. Uh, why can't they be, like, why can't they just leave me alone? Whatever, I gotta meet with Kraden, these people annoy me, so, um, yes, this is very important, but, um, he, why can't we just push past these guys, like, I don't wanna fight, they don't wanna fight, no one wants to fight, uh, it's, it's just a dull day for everybody. Why can't we just sit back and relax? There we go. So, now that Mado has given us the uh, clear to walk on, I guess. Oh god, apparently they know about the Soul Sanctum. Which they did talk about in three years ago, but... I didn't know that they were gonna, that was actually gonna be huge. What a shocker. Now he's uh, basically just ranting on about uh, the four elements, earth, water, wind, fire. Uh, they are basically everything. In this game, they, are, they create everything, they destroy everything, they do everything with everything. All that good stuff. So. Now, Dark is going to come up to Kraden and uh, talk to him because Kraden is our friend. Um, this is now, it's just going to be a conversation. So, basically, let's just watch. Um, basically, what Kraden is, is their teacher slash scholar of the, of the uh, veil. Because he is Kraden and he looks like an old guy with glasses who is smart. I guess is the way you can put it. Oh well, I don't know. So yes, that is very strange. But um, apparently we are not allowed to enter Mount LF, I believe it's called. But um, if there are thieves inside, why can't we get in? So let's... Wait a second. Oh god. We have- we can do nothing until they can- until we confirm what they told me. So, do we have to go or not? I'm confused. Oh, we will confirm it. So we will go to the Soul Sanctum ourselves. Looks like we're gonna have to do some sneaking around to get by without a good reason. Uh oh. Well, good luck to us, because we are probably going to need it. Yes, because climbing a mount a left is illegal, and I can probably get my head chopped off for it. That doesn't sound good. And no, we will not be fine. Uh, you're so funny, Matto. Fine, it will be our secret, even though I'll probably end up talking about it. I'm talking about it right now, and um, now Dark is the leader, and of course Dark can handle it. <laughs> and apparently Mado is not is not competent at all at being uh, a leader, so Dark will have to do. 
Now, Creighton, he got some bags. I wonder what those are for. Maybe we will find out later. Alright, this is our best bet, he says. Let's go. Alright, first, before we do anything, let's raid Creighton's house. Because I like stealing from Creighton. Ooh, five dollars. I like that. Ah. Search the crate. There we go. Nothing. Um, anything in here? No. Okay. Onward to victory! Um, walking, walking, walking. Gotta do some walking. Crossing a bridge now, because I'm just that cool. And let's go. Oh, God. Who is this guy? Oh, my God. He's a stalker. He was waiting for me. I think he might. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, and yes, we are planning to go. Fine. If no one can go without permission, I won't go. Screw you, dude. I'm going. All right. Um, now that we've passed that guy, let's enter the soul. Ooh, big, big stone doors. All right. This is where you're going to start to see some decent combat. Um, it's, it's not, it's still not hard, but there's also some basic puzzle solving, like this. Uh, what you gotta do, this is a Golden Sun's famous jump mazes. Basically, you jump on water and get to a different part of the map. It's not too difficult, but, uh, later they do get pretty complex. Ooh, wild mushrooms. Alright, Synergy. Of course, I only have... Dark only has Cure, for whatever reason. But Flare, and uh, they both have Flare. And Flare is very good, because Jenna just one-shotted everything. Is she a higher level than us? Nope, everybody's level 1. Okay, then. Now, um... This is the Soul Sanctum, not very difficult. Alright, what you gotta do here, uh, this is another basic puzzle. Come up here, well, I would come up here, whatever. But, um, now I'll explain this synergy. You see the, um, well, it's got the name, a picture of it, uh, how many synergy points it uses, uh, it's element, which is red, so that means fire or Mars and those three little lines. Now, those three little lines means the area of effect for, this, for the uh, synergy. So, one thick line, that thick line in the middle means that the person in the middle will take the most damage. And if I click on it, you'll see that there's one bigger targeting thing. The one on that will take more damage. So, as you can see, he took 22, but he only took 19. Now he... And... We got victory, yay. Alright, so we check this chest, we get a small jewel, which, uh... Its use will be... Is, isn't actually that obvious. You actually have to, um, figure this out on your own. But, uh, this minotaur is glowing. So, we're going to have to use an item. Let's use that small jewel, put it into the empty socket. And, it the, some, there's a sound of shifting stone. What can that be? I wonder what. Um, uh, he used for it. Basically, you can usually one-shot most of the enemies in here. Uh, with a, with a well-aimed spell, I guess. But, um, taking stuff out, not too difficult. Um, you should be, maybe, level 3 at the end of this. 3, 4, level, th yeah, probably level 3 by the end of this place. So... Just try to... Don't grind in here. 
it's the very beginning of the game. You don't really need to grind until later. Even though in this game, I, my first time through it, I don't think I grinded at all, actually. The only time I was grinding was when I was trying to get um, the thing in this cave. Uh, I'll explain that later. But now, Kraden is like, oh, this is the end. But it has nothing to do with the sun. And as most of us know, sun is soul and sp or soul is sun in Spanish. So he's thinking that there must be something that has to do with the sun here. Luckily, he thinks that there's a hidden passage. Let's see if we can find it. And uh, yes, we should help him, Mado. And uh, yes, I would prefer to stay together because having only cure at this point in the game, not too fun. All right, um, you come in here. There's nothing. You can't move that statue, so don't really bother. Uh, this statue, however, you can know if um, it, you know if you can move it if you can see the dotted line that I'm walking on right now. If you can see that, then uh, it's yeah, it's use it's movable. Oh, encounter! And there's a new enemy for us to kill. Slimes. So let's let's be strategic here. Oh, oh, they didn't even attack. And wonderful, Dark learns spires or er, squires quake, and get some nice stat boosts. Um, Quake is actually his first Earth Elemental attack. The, uh, the area of effect is the same as Flare. See? Um, same with the PP usage. Um, except I think Earth is, wow, significantly less powerful in here. Alright, um... Okay, we filled the vermin, so let's show off Cure for a second. Ah, the healing wind. And then Jenna tomahawks it. Um, and our buddy Mado levels. That's always good. Oh god. Screwing up already. Uh, there is a treasure chest over there, which you need to get. I'm not kidding. You really want to get this. Um. Yeah, double team and stuff. Uh, using flare, light and stuff. Did that thing really run away from me? That makes me kind of angry. Alright, so move on. Going around again because I missed that damn treasure chest that I need. Oh, by the way, if you haven't figured it out already, hold B to run. I don't know why no one would figure that out, but I didn't figure it out for a long time when I first played this game, so just putting that out there. Oh, wow. The vermin must be defending. Um. Ooh, taking damage. That's not good. So, now we're gonna attack. I filled slime number two. I filled the wild mushroom. And I filled the vermin. That is, uh, that's some good stuff right there. So, out of that chest, we got another small jewel. Uh,. If you remember the last one, you'll probably know what to do with this one. But the thing is, you gotta find the the thing where it goes to. So, wish me luck on that, because that's not always the easiest thing to do. Um... Attack it. Yes, no levels, cool, I guess. Um, oh god, I, uh, yeah, this is the part where they make you use synergy, 
it uh, shows you exactly what what's going on with that. Um, yes, use my synergy. All right, now if you go on the synergy menu, you can set shortcuts to L and R. So I'm gonna set a shortcut for move to R. So now, now every time I press R, Dark will use move. And what do you know? There's a Minotaur statue. Uh, so let's use the small jewel and open up another door. And why why did uh, Dark hop there? That was a bit strange. So now on the other side, use move again, and this door should have appeared, whereas it wasn't there before. So let's just head. Basically, my um my goal for this dungeon or what you gotta do, just keep heading up. That seems to always work. Usually. Like, right here. Ooh, that, this is it, we found it. Uh, as you can see, there is a sun painted on the ground. So, that must mean that we are actually in the Soul Sanctum now. And now, Kryden's just gonna say a bunch of stuff on it. Um... And now we figure out that those two people were thieves. So Jana suggests we run back to the village, but remember those bags that Creden got before? I bet he desperately wants to use them, even though we have no clue what, what they are. So he claims that we're close to something, so let's figure out what it is. Alright, uh, the source of alchemy, that, uh, sounds pretty cool, so I definitely want that, let's progress a bit further, alright, and, oh my god, he's acting like Rain in Tales of Symphonia, oh my god, ruins, I can't wait, uh, yeah, just switching that back to normal, don't mind that, and what's this? On the ground in this chamber, there's a moon. So, does that mean Luna? Yes. The Spanish word for moon. So, it must symbolize night. And these rooms are connected somehow. No duh. Oh my god. Sometimes, Creighton is not as smart as he thinks he is. Just, uh, play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. <laughs> You'll see exactly what I mean. So, sure, send the hero, because you're an old fart who doesn't want to come. Suck. Um, go up here, and, uh, if you want, come down here, and have Dark, er, and... You can have your healer, which is usually, which is dark, heal everybody with his synergy, then just come in there and it, that, picking up that stone will restore all of it. Now, picking up that stone will, uh, will destroy it, but if you leave the room and come back, you'll be, uh, it'll respawn, because that's what the stone does apparently. So now we're gonna solve this fairly simple puzzle. Uh, do not uh, solve the first. Do not put push the statues in the first part. Um, make sure you come to this side first, or else uh, you will die. Or I don't know what happens exactly because I've never done it. But um, Creighton, for some reason, always claims that there's a trap. So I don't want to deal with that. So now I'm going to hop over here, it's, there's no specific order, it's just that the game automatically puts you up here as soon as you do this part. So Quinn's like, oh my god, what the hell, and um, the, as you can see, one of the four panels with the moon on it has turned to a sun. Actually the one that we were, we just uh, pu pushed the statue over. 
So he's like, oh my god, Dark must have found somebody. Or something. Now, this is how good we are, because... Critten's already like, oh my god, thank god I brought these kids with me. They, they're they helping me out so much more than I could have done all by myself, because I'm an old fart and I can't fight any enemies. Now, we can, um... Yeah, now they're just explaining what I did in the first room. Now Creighton's gonna mention the trap. As you can see, he said, so the statue puzzle is the trap. And the other statue was to disarm the trap. Now, you can test out what the trap is. I've never done it, to be honest. But I didn't want to do it for the walkthrough, because, like, what if I got a game over or something? That would, that would be kind of stupid. So, I decided not to do it. If you're playing the game, um, I would suggest to go to the pause menu and save it before you do anything with that. Because this game is awesome with the save feature. You can save anywhere. Even though I'm using save slates right now, but... Like, you can literally, like, say you're right here, save your quest. So... That's a that's an always a good thing to do. So uh, let's go back down to Creighton. So now it looks like the rooms have switched. Um, so let's let's see if there's any importance to that. Oh, this is all that happens, eh? I don't think so, Creighton. I I'm not feeling you, man. So, let's check out over here. Oh my god, there's a, there's a laser. Oh my god, I want to touch the laser. Laser! Yes. A button. No. A button. Yay, laser. Oh my god, it's a portal. But I don't see GLaDOS anywhere. Where is she? I need my friend, the robot. Uh, uh. If any of you guys have played Portal, Portal's a fun game. I mean, seeing that warp thing just reminded me of of the blue Portal for a second there. So uh, that's why I made that reference. But um, this place seems special. Uh, I don't know what's up, but it must be pretty cool to, seeing that uh, it's all watery and bluey and crystally and all that good stuff what where are we uh, i wonder where we are oh oh my god there's crystals everywhere that's probably what creighton's thinking is that the ocean uh creighton man you let me down man come on Yes, obviously there's no waves down there. Really? Really, Mado? You don't know what the ocean is. Ah, oh my god. Sometimes, sometimes he's the dumbest character ever. Maybe it's because he doesn't live anywhere near an ocean, and I guess that might be understandable. But still, the dude's like 17. How can he not have like at least heard of it? <sighs> sometimes, oh my god, just, just sometimes. Alright, yes. Uh, earth, water, wind, fire. The four elements come together to create the elemental stars. Ha! Well, actually, they don't come together. Each... Each elemental star is a gem that, yeah, he's explaining it right now. So, this is the Mercury star, which is water. Uh, down up there is the Mars star, which is the glowing red with the fire contained within. Um, and then finally, we have the Venus star, or the Jupiter star, bound. Down with the wind's fury. So, Corinne made them sound pretty intense, but they're just, right now, to the game, they're just rocks. But, um, 
They actually... Yes, you have told us this. Oh my god, Mado. But, um, I believe the elemental stars play a huge role in probably both games. Uh, because... Well, I won't spoil anything, so... I won't t say anything about them. I'll let you guys figure it out all by your lonesome. Haha. Uh -huh. Noobs. Ah, uh, just kidding about that noobs part, guys. Now, let's go get some stars. Don't stare, don't scare us like that, Kraven. I totally thought you were serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. You would think about that, Mado. You're probably evil at heart. I wouldn't trust him if I were you. Watch out for Mado. So, and there goes Kraven, being the old man he is. He's gonna kill himself. Come back, you old coot. Aw, oh, sad face. Triple sad face. Anger face. It looks... Be careful, Creighton. It looks slippery. No. There's water all around you. And the crystals look like they might be ice. So, I think it might be a bit slippery. Don't you think? Ugh. My god. Would you mind? Yes, I'll get the stones for you. Thank you. Ugh. Well, guys, uh, actually, I am out of time. Um, within, like, two minutes. So, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, tuning in to part two of my Golden Sun walkthrough. Um, part 3 will be released shortly. I just want to get through this opening sequence. Um, uh, I've, I hope that my commentary is being decent. But uh, if it doesn't help for you, find a different walkthrough. Because, ah, ju just be quiet. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.